Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to another Rare Plant Index. So if you are unfamiliar with what a Rare Plant Index is, it is basically a series that I run on YouTube where I take a list of plants of certain type and I categorize them between uncommon, rare, very rare, extremely rare and holy. As you may be able to see from the title of this week's video, this week's video is about Anthurium. I'm now going to run off the same disclaimer that I run off in every Rare Plant Index video and that is that what is rare for me in this country where I live may not be rare for you. So if I've placed a plant in Uncommon, for example, that might actually be very rare for you and vice versa, depending on where you are in the world. So I have 33 plants on my list today. I do not have a holy category. I apologize. It was very close, but I actually decided, you know what, I'm not going to use the holy category unless it's needed. And I didn't think it was needed for this video, so I have not used it. So Anthurium. There are apparently 1,000 species of Anthurium. Now, this probably means that you can expect another Anthurium video at a much later date. Right, I'll kick it straight off with common, because a couple of people said to me, you know, you start these videos uh, in uncommon, but could you please show us what common Anthurium are? And you're absolutely right. That is a great idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. So here we are, three common Anthurium that I know of. You have the pink champion, the red champion, and the white champion. Now, these are very, very typical anthurium that you can pick up I would say honestly nearly anywhere I don't like these at all as far as anthurium go the flowers kind of look fake like they don't look real they look really plasticky I am not a fan so there's a couple of examples of common anthurium there are probably many many more but I just thought I would pick three to show you for now so should we just kick straight off with uncommon so in this category most anthurium that I've featured do like I am featuring them for the flowers but there are a couple of foliage plants sort of near the end to this category so I thought I'd just mention that and the first one I have in common is the purple miss june this right off the bat I don't mind because it looks way less fake than the other anthurium that I've just showed you, possibly because the flower just isn't like glossy and plasticky looking. So this one's actually quite pleasant to look at. As I say, I'm a foliage girl, I probably wouldn't get this. You know, flowers just don't really interest me very much, but it is quite nice. I don't mind it. It's certainly better than the, the previous ones I just mentioned. Moving on to the Anthurium Simba, really nice name. Uh, I, You know what, this one's okay. I like the way that the flower is like a massive, big, almost, not lily pad, but you know, like a really big flat paddle. I actually quite like the colors in this. For some reason, it reminds me of spring. I don't really know why that is. Literally no reason why that should remind me of that, but it does. I don't know why. Again, not into flowers, but I thought I would mention this just because it's a little bit different from the normal anthurium that you see. Hence, it's an uncommon. Moving on to the Anthurium Lumina. This, you know what? I like this. I, I do. I like this. This is like the, the shape of the flower is much, much different. It's more like flame shaped than the previous one I mentioned, or to be honest, any one I've mentioned so far. They have a really nice lilac spadix on them. If you don't know what a spadix is, it's the really long part of the flower. Next up in uncommon, I actually really like this one. I'm going to take back everything I just said about flowers and tell you that I like this one. This is the Anthurium Safari. This is very nice. This has like, it's mainly burgundy. And from what I can see here, it has like a, like a, would you say a coral pink running right up it in stripes. It is a little bit more exotic looking and it is a bit more unusual looking. And I, I'm guessing that's probably why they call it Safari. If I was going to own an Anthurium with a flower, I'd probably pick this one out of the bunch because I feel it is the nicest. It's the most interesting. Yeah, I think this one's all right. So the next Anthurium I have on the list for Uncommon is the Anthurium Black Beauty. Now, there's nothing necessarily special to this. There was actually a couple of Anthuriums with black flowers. Um, I just picked this one just to show you. And I wanted to include it because some people love black flowers. So I thought I would include that. A little bit more rock and roll, you know. Right, I think we are about to move more into foliage now. So the first foliage Anthurium in Uncommon is the Anthurium Radiant. This is nice. Again, it's pretty simple. It's quite textured, actually. It's not the most striking anthurium I've ever seen, foliage-wise. Again, you will find out what I mean later on. But it is quite nice. I wouldn't personally own it, just because I'm getting very full up on plants. I know I say this every video, but really, I'm getting pretty full up on plants now. I don't have room for this. I don't really, you know, it doesn't grab me. But it is quite nice if you like reasonably simplistic foliage, but there is some texture there. So that's quite nice. 
So the next Anthurium on the list is a little bit different. I would say it resembles more of a, I don't want to say a fern, but it has a completely different, you know, growth pattern. And that is the Anthurium Superbum, or Superbum, as I like to call it. It's nice. It kind of reminds me of, yeah, some kind of fern, really. The leaves are very, very long. There is some texture there. From what I've seen of this on the internet, this Anthurium, like the leaves don't really bow. They stay like uber, uber straight, um, which is quite interesting. I don't think I would have this Anthurium either because there is another anthurium that grows in it, I guess, a similar pattern to this that I would much rather have and is probably going on my wish list. I will point that out when I get to it, but yeah, anthurium superbum. So the next one I'm pretty happy about because I have one and it's right here in the frame. This is the anthurium clarinervium. This was on my wish list for a long time, like months. I know I did my wishlist video in January, but it's actually been on my wishlist way before then, since possibly maybe late summer last year. So a long, long time this has been on my wishlist and I hope you can see why it is wonderful. The leaves are like, they're like heart shaped, but they, it's quite dramatic, I would say. I wouldn't say it was like a regular like philodendron heart. And obviously the veining here, I'm hoping you can see this. The veining here is just, oh, it's absolutely magnificent. I would say that these leaves are velvety, except honestly, they're kind of not. I would actually compare it more to like, almost like suede to velvet. And I've noticed that seems to be a running pattern with, you know, velvety anthuriums as opposed to philodendron, where in my experience, a velvety philodendron does actually feel very velvety. These don't to me. All of the soft anthuriums that I've felt so far, and I haven't felt many, are much more suede-like in texture. Also, they have a really cool color. I don't know if that's gonna come off on camera when they grow in, they almost, get like a reddish tint when a new leaf comes in. It's extremely pretty. I don't know if you're going to see these blooms. I will have to pull them through onto the camera. I hope you can see that. This is why I wouldn't have a flowering anthurium. This is why I'm a foliage girl. You're looking at it. How amazing is this, please? This is beautiful. So, oh, that takes us out of Uncommon already. Uh, a quick note about this. I did put this in Uncommon. I know it's probably classed as rare, but honestly, these are really coming into fashion at the minute, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot more of them generally kicking around shops. Obviously, this might be like way more rare for you where you are. Do let me know actually if that's the case. I'd be genuinely curious, but that's why I put that in Uncommon. I nearly put it in rare. Moving on to rare, we have the Anthurium Crystallinum. This is, oh, it's lovely. It's kind of similar to the Clarinervium, only the heart shape that I'm kind of looking at on here is not as dramatic. Like it's just not, like this is very like ace of spades kind of shape. Whereas this is just more of a regular heart shape. Um, definitely though, the veining on the Crystallinum is much more pronounced than this. This is quite subtle in comparison. It's still suede-ish in, uh, in feel, I think. It's lovely. I, I would have one of these because I feel like, you know, as a collector, why not? I think if you are looking for an anthurium of this type and, you know, it's up against the Clarinervium or the Crystallinum, I think you might find that you can get a hold of this much more easily, as I've said before. So maybe you might want to go for this one. Personally, I think this one looks cooler than the Crystallinum. Next on the list in rare is the Anthurium Magnificum. Now, I'm just going to go out on a whim and say that I don't love this one. It's not really the shape as such it's not really the veining as such. To me, overall, it just doesn't look as striking as even the crystallinum, crystallinum, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's nice. It just, you know, when I compare it to the other anthurium, it just looks a little bit better. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't go for this, but I can understand why a lot of people would. Moving on in rare, we have, no, I like this one. I do like this one. This is the Anthurium Renaissance. So this is a little bit of a curveball, but I wanted to include this for the minimalists among you because it's kind of cool. It's like a really minimal, tall, bougie looking fern, I would say. It reminds me, like the leaves remind me of like a, is it a bird's nest fern? But just obviously way taller and way more minimal. I don't know, I can just imagine this somewhere just super bougie, like totally on its own somewhere. I like it. Would I have it? No, probably not. I mean, I wouldn't say no to it, but I don't think I would go out looking for it. It's really unique for an anthurium, I think. I don't think I've seen any other anthurium that look quite like this one. So for that reason, I quite like it. Moving on in rare, we have the anthurium bullatus. Bullatus, bullatus. You pick one. I don't like this. Gonna be honest, I don't love it. The leaf shape is interesting, uh, you know. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. I don't, I can't formulate a reason. I don't love the shape. I don't think it has great veining. I don't really like the glossiness of it because I think, I don't know, I'm just really into my velvet at the minute. Let me know what you guys think. It's not, you know, it's just not something I'm interested in. 
So the next one in red is actually on my wish list, and you're probably gonna look at this and go, I don't get it, but hopefully I will have found you a better picture. I know I have pictures lying around of this somewhere. And this is the Anthurium Jungle King. This does grow kind of like a fern, but this grows like big. Okay, this grows really, really big, like easily half the size of the size of me. It's fantastic. They can get variegated. I know I haven't mentioned variegation much in this video, but honestly, variegation seems very few and far between for anthuriums, so I just left it out for now. That's not to say that there aren't variegated versions of a lot of these, but I just, I didn't want to include it. So hopefully I have found a better photograph of this because honestly, they are fantastic. The image I'm looking at now does not look fantastic at all, but it is on my wish list. I love them. It's, I think it's one of these plants where you don't think you like it and then you see it in person and you absolutely love it. I think you guys are just gonna have to trust me on that one. Hopefully I have found a better picture of that. We're now gonna move up a category to very rare and I'm gonna kick off very rare with the Anthurium Plowmanii. Is that how you say it? Plowmanii? This is kind of a cross between, if I'm honest, the Anthurium Jungle King that I've just mentioned and the Anthurium Renaissance, purely because it has the crinkledness of the Renaissance, but it grows a little bit like a Jungle King, i.e. a little bit more ferny in its uh, growth pattern. Arguably it does look prettier than the Jungle King. Okay, mixing it up now onto the more kind of, I don't know what to call them, spindly or more finger-like Anthurium, just to mix it up and change some shapes up in here. We have the Anthurium Pedatum. This may have another name, a more common name, I'm not sure. Not the coolest spindly looking Anthurium, I do have some cooler ones further on. I wouldn't strive to own it. Maybe it's one of these plants where you see it in person when there's more of it and it looks great. I'm not looking at the best picture in the world, to be honest. I'm not sure that the plant that's coming up next, I think I would rather have in comparison to this one. And that is the Anthurium Pedatoradiatum. Anthurium Pedatoradiatum. Anthurium Pedatoradiatum. So this one is nicer to me. It's more rounded off. I just like the shape more. I think it's a bit different. I, it almost feels like these two Anthurium are almost related just because the names are like remotely similar. I don't really know though. It is a nice one if you're looking for that kind of thing. It's a very, very nice pattern. And to continue on from that, we have the Anthurium Podophyllum. I like this one. For some reason, this, the, uh, the leaf uh, shape kind of reminds me of deer's antlers and I don't really know why. I quite like it for that reason. I probably would have this. To me, it does way more for me than the other two previous Anthurium just did. If anyone didn't already know, the stag is my favorite animal. So that's a really nice Anthurium to have. I would consider. Moving on from that, we have the Anthurium clavi clavigerum, clavigerum. You pick. This one's nice. I don't know if this is more rare than the category I've put this in. I still think I would go for the Podophyllum based on the whole stag thing, but this is very nice as well. I think that is the last Anthurium I have that's more finger-like and spindly. And I think now we're back onto the big boys. Yes, we are. So the next Anthurium in the list is the Anthurium Faustino's Giant. I don't like this either. <laughs> this whole rare plant index is just full of stuff that I don't like. This list isn't for me to like, it's for me to give you a blend of, you know, what's out there so you can decide what you like. So I don't have to like this, but I don't like this. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. As far as Anthurium go, when you say Anthurium like this, why would I have this? when I can have like something like this Clarinervium, like to me, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so I'm gonna spice it up a little bit again and we're gonna go for some leaves with some texture now. So I'm gonna start with the Anthurium rugulosum. This is kind of cool. It's kind of heart-shaped, not full-on heart-shaped, but it's it's got a nice shape to it and it's very, very textured. It's like pebbly. It's nice. I haven't even written a description about this one. It's totally blank, but it's nice. I think that's probably because the next Anthurium on the list looks way nicer. Nicer. I'm gonna be honest, it's like this, but way more. And that is the Anthurium Splendidum. Now, the picture I have just placed beside me, I can't guarantee you that that is indeed an Anthurium Splendidum because there are a few different images on Google for this. But I love this. Assuming this is the Anthurium Splendidum, just take it for what it is, because it's absolutely awesome. I'll show you the image that I have now, and then I will probably flip to an image of the leaf more close up, just so you can see how awesome the pattern on the leaves is. That's just amazing. Like if you like texture, this is definitely the one for you. And the last Anthurium that I've placed in very rare is actually one of mine. Now I'm not gonna show you a picture of this Anthurium because I can't find it. This is the thing. So if you guys saw my extremely rare uh, unboxing video that I did, when would this be now? Last week, I unboxed this little guy right here. You may remember him. Is that gonna focus? Please focus. Yeah, 
I actually unboxed this little guy and he was down as a Anthurium, is it Doriaki? I have tried, Ben has tried to locate the parents of this because we think it's a hybrid, we're not really sure. I can't work out what it is. I can't find anyone on the internet that seems to know what it is. If you do know what this is, please tell me. I think, and I said this to Ben and Ben agrees, that one of the parents of the Santherium must be Crystallinum, but I can't be certain. So that concludes the very rare category. Sorry, I have soil on my tablet. Right, extremely rare. This is always my favorite category. Always my favorite category. There's always good stuff in this category. This is where I really start to, you know, get good. And I'm going to kick off the extremely rare category with something that quite honestly is probably on my wish list. And that is the Anthurium Ace of Spades. Oh my God. It's long from what I can say. It does have veining kind of similar to the Clarinervium, maybe not as much. And it's really dark in color like you probably can't tell on the camera this is coming off greener than it looks in real life on camera right now maybe that'll be different when i look at it in editing but this looks way darker like it looks black i have written down that it's velvety but by that i probably mean exactly the same texture as this and that is more of a suede like texture it is so pretty i really want one as i say i think they are really rare they may be a hybrid i'm not sure and i know i don't usually like to include hybrids in these videos but you know what a lot of them tend to slip through anyway so you know it is what it is but it's so beautiful i wanted to include it for you guys that like dark foliage moving on from the ace of spades to a hanging anthurium or hanger however you'd like to call it this is the anthurium vitari folium this is very nice the leaves are very very long and belt like i quite like it i don't know if it's velvety or not i want to say no it isn't but i want to actually move immediately on to the next plant because they're so similar for a while i actually thought they were the same plant i didn't know they were any different and that is the anthurium wendelingeri wendelingeri this one is so similar on my photographs they look almost the same to be honest. I think the difference with the Wendelingeri is that the leaves do have some rippling down them. It's not super obvious, but I think the more the plant matures, the more that comes in. Hopefully I've used the same picture. I probably have as the one I'm looking at. There is a bloom hanging down from this thing and it looks absolutely epic. It's just awesome. Now I would put either of these on my wish list. I'm not really sure which. Uh, I have to have something like this. This is different for me. It's just like a big stream of belts. Right, continuing on in extremely rare, we have the Anthurium Gigantium. I don't like this, can you tell? It looks like a beard, so if you like that, then go for it. To me, this just isn't what an Anthurium is. Anthuriums look like this, the really pretty ones. You will see exactly what I'm talking about in a minute, so just please bear with me. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a place for this. I have no need for it. It's not ugly looking it just if i just don't i don't need it you know i tell you what because i've just scrolled down and this is so similar to the next plant i would have the next plant over this plant and you'll probably see why straight away this is i'm gonna use the same picture because i love this picture this is the anthurium salga Renzi, and if you can see this picture which i know you can i will have used this it's just awesome it's like some sort of alien thing the image i'm looking at there is a little man stood right next to it and this anthurium is just absolutely just dwarfing him to the max. I think that's awesome. Like why have the Gigantium when you can have the Salgarensi? Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's just awesome. Look at the texture on it as well. It's got some really nice rippling. Oh that's the one isn't it? You, you just have to pick that one. You'd have to. You'd have to. Oh okay one of my favorites. The next plant in Extremely Rare is the Anthurium Regale or Regal. Whichever one you want, this is what I'm talking about for an Anthurium. Okay, velvet, check. Heart-shaped, check. Veiny, check. Bad boy, check. This, like, it has it all. I don't need to say anything else, you know? This, I think, this, this is, it's going on my wish list. Look at it. God, these, these Rare Plant Index videos really kill your wish list. Is anybody else finding that? Because don't think I'm immune because I'm making these videos. This, it, this is terrible for me, okay? I see so many plants from these uh, series that I do and it's just impossible not to want everything. This is still going on my wish list. <laughs> Even though I need to exercise self-control, no. Nah. No, nah, that's going on. Sign me up. So the next one in Extremely Rare is also very nice. This one's highly sought after from what I know, like highly sought after on the internet. 
and this is the Anthurium Forgettii. You can see straight off that it's an Anthurium, just it bears all the hallmarks of a typical Anthurium. It has the interesting shape and it has the veining, but this one isn't heart-shaped. It's totally round at the top. It's like, I don't know, like a pointy teardrop. It's cool for that reason, I think, because it just looks so different to the rest of them. Maybe that is actually why it's quite sought after. I don't know. I love it. But if I had to pick between this and the Regal, Regale, I think I would still pick that instead, just because I'm kind of in love with that. That's amazing. Next up, in Extremely Rare, we have the Anthurium Dark Mama. Don't know why it's called Dark Mama, because it doesn't look very dark to me. It looks reasonably light in colour. It does have all the nice things that you'd want in an Anthurium. The veins are there, shape is there, the length is there, and it looks to be quite velvety from the image I'm looking at so it's nice i wouldn't go for it there is you know one or two other longer anthuriums that i would very much like to own which you will see in just a second yeah i wouldn't go for this one based on what i'm about to show you very soon so moving on from that before we get to the really interesting ones we have the anthurium villanoarum is that how you say it villanoarum lovely this is actually quite nice. It has texture, it has the veins, it has the shape, it has the length. It doesn't have velvetiness from what I can see on this image, but it's that's quite a pretty one. I think that's worth having. I'm not necessarily interested because there's some that I am further down. I keep saying, but this one is very nice. I think it's a nice one to add to anybody's collection. So if you see it, do let me know, pick it up. It looks to be quite rare, so go for it. <sighs> This next one is extremely close to my heart and this one is so breathtakingly amazing. So this one is of course the Anthurium Waroquinium. Ra ra Jesus, I thought I could say it last week. Waroquinium. It's the Queen Anthurium. And if you have not already seen this, it's gorgeous. I actually unboxed one last week and I it was it was an event, put it that way. It's beautiful. It has everything you want from an Anthurium, right? It's long, it has beautiful veining. It's a gorgeous color. I mean, when I look at this in person, the veins going down the middle of it just look like they're glowing all the time. It's absolutely stunning. But what I didn't know was, and this is going on my wish list, there, there is actually a dark version of this. And let me tell you, it looks just as good as this one. I will insert a picture right now of what it looks like, but oh my God, I have to complete the set. I'm sorry, I do. I need that dark form to go with the one that I already own. And last on my list, guys, the final plant in Rare Plant Index is you cannot have a queen without a king. This is the Anthurium Vicii, also known as the King Anthurium. This is extremely sought after in the Anthurium, you know, collector's world, if you will. It has one central beautiful vein running down it. It doesn't have the other veining that, you know, the Anthurium can have. And it has these ripples, but they're not your standard ripple. It's like, it's almost like alien ridges. I like it. Like, I see why people like this. I would have one of these on the basis that I need the king to go with the queen, if you know what I mean. So I guess my wish list would be the dark form Queen Anthurium and then one of these just to complete the set because I do collect these and I need that. That's beautiful. And that concludes this week's Red Plant Index. I tried as hard as I could to squeeze some more plants in for you guys. I've definitely gone over on time this time, so hopefully we should have a little bit of a longer video. I can't tell right now because obviously I'm not editing yet, but hopefully editing Kaylee works her magic and we get a bit of a longer video than we normally have for Red Plant Indexes. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you had a nice time. I hope your wish list didn't get too much larger. I know mine is. Very quickly before I go on the subject of wish lists, I'm thinking about taking a little bit of time, maybe a couple of weeks, to do an updated wish list. Just because I feel like doing all these rare plant indexes, I've kind of, I've certainly developed a taste, like I know what I want and I know what I don't want. And I've found a lot of things just through looking at plants generally and, you know, just my journey of discovery. I found a lot of plants that I would really like to have and I feel like the list that I did back in January is so out of date now. There are a lot of things still on the list that I would want, but I feel like I found a lot of new things that I would probably put ahead of that. So I'm thinking about doing another updated wish list video. So let me know if it's something you're interested in because honestly, it will be very, very different to the last one. I can guarantee you that because my tastes have changed quite considerably since the last one. And I think these videos, these rare plant indexes, they will do that to you because as soon as you sit on Google and you start looking for these things, it's a rabbit hole. It's an absolute rabbit hole. Just wanted to say a very quick thank you for sticking by with me in this rare plant index kind of drought I've been having. As you guys may probably know by now, I've done a lot in the past few weeks. One of them is releasing a video game 
uh, in a team of nine people. I'm very tired. Thank you for sticking by me while I have basically been just hauling a lot of plants for the last few weeks. It's honestly appreciated. Thank you very much. So thank you very, very much for watching. If there is another rare plant index that you would like me to do, then please do leave a comment, leave as many as you want, leave a whole list. And as usual, if you like this video, then please leave a like. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. And if you like my content and would like to see any more of these or any of the other videos I do, whether it be repot with me, plant hauls, because I do a lot of them, anything really if you'd like to see any more of my videos or just generally stick around and be part of the little family that we have growing here then please hit that subscribe button it really really helps if you would like to see updates on these because i know that none of you knew about this because i haven't told anyone that i've recently bought this i didn't want to haul any more plants because i just couldn't bear doing another plant haul it's getting a bit extreme but I will obviously update you guys with any new plants that I have. A keen eye among you may notice a couple of plants in the frame that you may not have seen before. I've rambled on long enough. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Have a great weekend. I love you all. Bye.